How can we solve a linear system? You have already learned how to solve small systems using substitution. For larger systems, however, it is better to develop a more methodical way to solve systems of equations. In this video, we will learn all operations to solve any number of linear equations. So, let's see. How can we solve a linear system? We have three elementary operations which leave the system unchanged, in the sense that the solution of the system is unchanged. We can switch to equations. Well, obviously, if we only switch equations from one place to another, the solution will be the same. We can multiply an equation with a scalar, a non-zero number. And third operation is a bit harder. We can add a multiple of one equation to another. Those three operations leave the linear system invariant. So how does this work? Let's look at an example. x1 minus 2x2 equals minus 1 and minus x1 plus 3x2 equals 3. So what do we mean by change, by switch to equations? So we denote it as follows, I switch over here. And what we do, we write this one as a second equation, and the second equation as the first equation. That's all we do. Yeah, obviously the system is unchanged. This seems rather trivial. Second operation, multiply one equation with a scalar and leave the other one untouched. In this case, we leave the second one untouched. I will multi multiply the first one with 3. Okay, like this. And we get a new system, which has still the same solution set. Also, we haven't gotten very far. We haven't simplified the, sys simplified the system. Third operation. What we do is the following. We leave the first equation as it is. And we replace the second equation by another e equation. We replace the second equation by the second equation plus a multiple of the first equation. So we take the second equation, we add three times the first equation, which yields 3x1 minus 6x2 equals minus 3. So we add those up. And we get 2x1 minus 3x2 equals 0. So we can write it like this plus 3. And we get a new system of two equations into unknowns, which has the same solution set as the first system. And this does not really help yet, because we can still cannot see the solution of this system. However, we can be a bit smarter. So instead of adding three times the second equation to the first, I can also add one time the first equation here to the second. So what do we do? We copy the first equation and we replace the second equation by the second equation plus once the first equation. Then we get 0 plus x2 equals 2 as our new second equation. So the new second equation becomes x2 equals 2. And now we have simplified our system. And now we can see the solution, of course, because once we know x2 equals 2, we can use the first equation to compute x1. We have x1 minus 4 equals minus 1, so x1 equals 3. So now we have found uh, the solution of our system. So using these three operations, you change the linear system, but you keep uh, the same solution set. And the idea is to simplify your linear system in order to be able to solve it in the end.